Hey what is up everybody so in this video I will tell you guys that how you can activate ECG and blood pressure feature on Galaxy Watch 3 but before starting I want to mention that this feature is now officially available in South Korea after approval from FDA and in the US it is approved by FDA and Samsung will soon roll out the update for this feature and a lot of people ask me that what will happen if I install this app and get official update later. Simply your current version of ECG and BP app will be updated to the latest one present in the update. Also as of now this method is only working on Samsung phones. So for those people who have a non-Samsung phone, sorry you cannot activate this feature right now. Okay now moving on to the process, you have to download two applications. Link is down in the description of this video, you can check them out. First one is a TPK file that we will install on our watch. And second one is the modified Samsung Health Monitor. So I'm installing the Samsung Health Monitor app first on my phone. So now it has installed, opening it up. And it is saying connected watch found. Just hit continue and enter your information. Here we have this interface of Samsung Health Monitor. Now I'm installing this application on my watch. So it will show a prompt message, just hit OK. After some time you will see Samsung Health Monitor app on your watch. Now go back to the application on your phone and calibrate your watch with the help of real cuff based BP apparatus. And make sure you follow all the instructions mentioned here in this app carefully. It will take 3 consecutive readings and after that you can measure your BP with the help of this app. I'm taking my blood pressure reading after the calibration process has completed. And you can see that the results are quite close to the real BP apparatus. I will not say to just depend on this watch only, it is for a good quick reference. And talking about the ECG feature, we don't have to calibrate anything. Make sure the watch is snug fit, not too tight, not too loose. After that, sit quietly for 30 seconds and wait for the application to complete the process. And here you can see the sinus rhythm which means no abnormal heartbeat is detected. Also this report will be shared to your phone in the form of PDF that you can share with your doctor as well. So guys I hope you like this video and don't change your medication based on this reading only. It is for just a reference. And that was it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.